Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. This is Enigma and you're watching Enigma Inc. So let's do Pisces for December. Quick reading. Let's see what are the messages for you. Sun, Moon, Rising and Venus sign. This is going to be a mid-December reading for Pisces. Let's see what are the messages for you. Sun, Moon, Rising and Venus signs. I think I repeated this. This is a general reading as usual. Take however it resonates for personal readings and more accuracy. I'm available on WhatsApp or Instagram. Subscribe to my channel and follow me on Instagram for December horoscopes available on my Insta, which is Enigma Inc. Online. All the details you'll get below. And you can also get a spell from me or get a spell done from me or an energy circle to manifest any wish. So a lot of remedies we also provide. So uh, even crystals, bracelets. So you can reach out to me for the same. Now don't forget to subscribe to my channel for more such videos and show some more love. Okay, okay, Pisces. So I feel like you're in a very boss energy right now. Like nobody can shake. You're in a position where you feel like you're a big authority and that you are being heard and people are appreciating you for who you are. So whatever you're putting your work and energy into, it's just coming out much, much better than what you expected. So things are uh, bringing a lot of success, good outcomes for you. I feel like the money-wise, money-wise you feel like there's some sort of dissatisfaction or... <clears throat> And there's some sort of uh, a bumpy ride when it comes to following your career. You're somewhere either confused rather than maybe you want to shift to a better place or a better career or you are not getting enough money. So some sort of blockage when it comes to career or money is there. However, you're still holding on strong. You're still going strong going forward. And this is why your senior or your boss may be really respecting you for your work. So this could be a Libra energy or an Aries energy who's behind you, who's like a backbone for you. I feel like something you feel is just something you feel. Um, this could be a Virgo person. Okay. Uh, I feel like you... You are thinking about something, overthinking about something. Maybe you're too stressed out with the work or you have uh, something going on in your head which is kind of worrying you in the back of your mind and you want to release that stress. I feel like some sort of over analysis, overthinking is going on which is bringing you no good. But I do see when it comes to growing your you know, upgrading your knowledge, you're doing that. So I do see you upgrading your career, your post as well, or your knowledge. Okay, some of you dealing with a Virgo person. However, I see a very strong, powerful energy uh, about you, Pisces. You're in a very powerful energy right now. You're very wise beyond your age. I feel like that because you have life experiences like that or you're just built like that. You're more mature. The star energy is telling me that, um, okay, this could be your energy that you, you look, you're someone, you're, you're special. Okay. Someone feels really, you know, attracted to you. They feel like you're very special to this person. Someone feels really emotionally connected with you. Star energy. This could be a reconciliation from the past, from a Virgo, someone who's overthinking about you and wants to know like they're just curious like what's going on in your life they miss that okay they miss the energy or you're like shining bright like a star also see that some of you dealing with an aquarius this strong major arcana energies i feel like you are in a very powerful headspace right now and you're getting you've got very lucky you feel very lucky right now the star is like you feel special okay you feel like this is special you know, you feel your phase right now you're in, it's a very special phase, okay? You feel lucky. I mm, also see, you see someone in your dream. I don't know who it is, but yes, yeah, someone is there. All right, so, okay, there's this person that you still think about. This is someone who is very independent, um, very wise or someone who loves luxuries someone who likes a luxurious lifestyle you may be dealing with this person they are 
very attracted to you okay this is an independent soul very independent money wise and i feel like they have um a good dressing sense also okay like an attire so there's someone who is seen like a very independent person someone like that is coming into your life someone special okay this person's bringing communication this person's bringing some sort of help or this person's actually coming towards you with a very positive energy like they are going to offer you some kind of help this could be a libra person whoever is a male here is going to reach out okay and i see with the six of pentacles yes there is um uh you know feeling of noble attitude this person is very noble is is very giving is very helping okay that's the energy i feel like this person has a lot of money yeah okay someone does see you as a special person okay this person is worried very worried about you libra gemini aquarius they're all in their head and i feel like they want to reach out to you but some sort of stress is just pulling them pushing them down or or making them feel like they're not good enough they're having some sort of sleepless nights okay hmm this is your person's energy yeah someone from the past wants to reconcile here someone from the past wants to reach out to you with an offer with a, with a care with an attention with more balance they want to bring balance in this connection okay so yeah, i do see a reconciliation the star is like they they see you as a special one like they have had a lot of other people in their life but you are someone special to this person yeah yes definitely they feel like you have someone else and that is why they don't want to get into this uh, you know they don't want to you know disturb your connection with someone else that's why they are not coming through but i do see like this person is feeling like you may have someone else but that's not true i see that this person wants to take this to another level they want to reignite this connection and become more strongly attracted to you they want to be very strongly attracted to you okay they want they feel you know a very energetic pull towards you like they just cannot help it they just cannot control this but they're just feeling it they feel a strong attraction and that's not on physical level that's on an emotional level like a naked level spiritual so this is a spiritual bond they want with you and with this i feel like they're going to reach out there's some sort of they just need motivation to reach out to you some sort of motivation yes gemini energy aries and leos they they feel a strong fire for you they have strong lust for you i feel like at the same time a lot a lot of love soulmate energy dealing with the soulmate so i see like they are someone who wants to get to know you on a soul level not just on in on a superficial level yeah let me just pull out some this could be someone at your workplace as well now let me just pull out love oracle messages yeah i do see this person feels a very very strong attraction towards you and they want to grow with you like, like yeah they want to tell you how they feel they want to open up their heart to you this person's definitely uh you know waiting for the right time to reach out to you and tell you how they feel yeah there's a lot of flirting they want to do with you so i do see like with the aso ones yeah they definitely feel that attraction towards you mm as i told you this is a reconciliation this is a reconciliation definitely reconciliation okay now what else um which one should i pick okay what is the outcome to this connection let's see what's the most probable outcome pisces ooh i do see like this going to be a blossoming romance between you and this person okay this is going to change things are going to become better you guys will complete each other you guys are like opposites yet are so much made for each other type of vibe i feel yin and yang this person completes you you complete them so i feel like you both feel incomplete somewhere and when you guys are together this is going to like you you guys are going to feel like something missing is getting completed 
okay so you guys will complete each other in a way two 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 may be the number that you're seeing or you need to watch two 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 tarot okay read uh, go through a scorpio reading yeah that's another message that i get yin and yang so i do see you guys complete each other and there's gonna be a blossoming romance between you guys and there's a lot of care and love towards each other that you guys are both missing out on so what else do i get here pisces yen see I feel like you both are in a feminine energy. You are in female energy and your person is female energy. Whoever is a male here is also in a female energy. That means you both are expecting another person to reach out first. And that is creating a lot of blockage. Yeah. The two, two and two. Yeah. Something you need to do it too. Just check your time right now. I see like uh, there's a lot of femininity in both of your energies. Which means that nobody is ready to give or you know chase and both wants to receive a message or receive love but nobody's willing to give okay and i feel like the moment you guys are reconciling this energy is going to balance out there's going to be a reversal okay and things are going to change Ooh my god you both are confused now there's another two here which is telling me that you both are very confused okay you both are dealing with different people and you both are not feeling happy and you both are very confused about what you want and that confusion is creating a lot of trouble in your love life as well so i need to be clear about what you need and then make a move okay and be confident about this Pisces, no need to worry. Things are going to get better. Somewhere I feel like you're also worried. You uh, you have some sort of confusion regarding your money as well. There's some sort of compromise required. Maybe the ego needs to just calm down a bit so things can get better. What else do I have here? Hmm. It's time to release neg negativity. Maybe you're dealing with a Scorpio and I feel like there's a lot of negativity in this connection that you really need to release and you're holding on to the past negativity. I feel like there's, because we get a reconciliation card, there needs to be a release of negativity and letting go of the past negativity and allow positivity co to come into this connection. There is a chance you may be dealing with a Scorpio and yeah bring love into the situation aquarius person maybe so you need to bring love in this situation because there's a lot of negative negativity that has been uh, you know added to this in the past so that needs to be released forgiveness someone is asking for sorry someone is coming with an apology you may you might ask for forgiveness this person might ask for forgiveness but i do see things are going to get better one uh, no this is done yeah done everything so now let's see aries to pisces your person's feelings for you aries please aries please aries is hurting over you this person wants you okay they're not having good time without you taurus is like trying to connect with you telepathically they know that you're going to reach out to them somewhere or this this connection is not over yet pisces um yeah taurus person is quite intuitive they know what's going on in your life somewhere they get that message gemini person is um this is actually a gemini card gemini wants true love here or they they just feel very connected with you soul connection Cancer. Cancer wants to take it to another level. I feel like this person is going to reach out and would ask for commitment, like a solid commitment. Leo. Leo person is head over heels and they are very attracted to you. Yeah, they want to start afresh. Leo. Then we have Virgo. Okay, the Virgo person wants to marry you. They see abundance with you. They see growth with you. Libra. Libra is going to drop a message and they have a huge crush on you, I see. Scorpio. 
Scorpio is right now in a very angry mindset. They are very conflicted. They want to hold competition with you. And right now they are not in an energy to reach out. So this is not the right time. Sagittarius. Sagittarius feels a drawn to you, towards you. And I feel like this person's daydreaming a lot and not taking action. So if they are not reaching out, don't think that they don't like you. They have been fantasizing a lot about you. Then we have Aquarius. Aquarius. Okay, wait. Aquarius. Okay, Aquarius is ending this because they're going through a really, really bad time. Capricorn. Caps. Cap feels you're done and you're moved on. So they are waiting for you to reach out. But I feel like they're behind you. They want you back. Pisces. Pisces wants money, wants stability, wants growth, wants commitment, wants stability. Yes, long term. So yeah, that's about it, guys. I hope you've help, uh, you've got some sort of help here. And this is um, a general reading. As usual, you can get in touch with me for personals. And do not forget to subscribe to my channel and comment down below. Let me know how this resonated and like this video, share it. Don't forget it. Bye.